Welcome back to the Force Nines YouTube channel. Welcome back to Football Manager 2018 and the Rolling Stone save with Maidstone United. And in today's video, uh, we've got our home game against Gateshead. Uh, we've yet to win. Uh, in fact, we've lost both of our live comes so far this uh, save. So hopefully that will change with this video. A uh, bit of a change of plan to what I was going to do, which was play the FA Cup game, which is in a few games time. I was a little bit ambitious about how many games I could play. Uh, but work got in the way, so I didn't play it nearly as much as I would have liked. Literally, it's about 9.30 at night now, so literally I'm going to film this and go to bed, so already my eyes are a bit heavy and tired. But uh, I do kind of have a, have a schedule that I need to stick to now, so this does need to be filmed. So, um, yeah, hopefully it's good. Hopefully enjoy it. If you do, if you are enjoying the videos, make sure you drop a like down below, leave comments, and if you want to see videos as I'm ready to turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. So nothing new in terms of players to bring you. Jack Hartley's yet to play a game. I'm trying to get him a little bit of uh, match sharpness before he joins us. That's not really happening. Um, I've got him set available to the squads, haven't I? There we go. We'll, we'll get, have him available for both of the reserve squads. For now, you know, we'll leave him out and then we'll see what happens. Joe Piggott's a bit unhappy at the moment because he wants some first team football. But he's not been in brilliant form recently, is Joe Piggott. He's, um, he had started well, but... He's had a few games where he's just not really done much. Last episode, we lost 5-3 to Hartlepool. Uh, in the three away games, we conceded 15 goals. But well, before that, we did have a clean sheet and we'd be absolute. But three away games, 15 conceded. Things needed to change. We did get back to winning ways in the next game. A 3-0 win at home against Woking to Horst getting a, a brace late in the first half. And then Jai Reason with another direct free kick on 51 minutes, giving us a 3-0 win. Um, very good game. Um, we played extremely well in this game. We defended uh, really, really well. And, yeah, just did our job quite simply, really. It, was, it was, wasn't too difficult. Woking were pretty terrible. Only a couple of shots on target. So, this was just a very easy routine win. Then we had our first draw of the season. It was a 0-0 stalemate against Eastley. So, our away record's better, at least. We won the first one. We conceded five. This one we managed a clean sheet, but it was a very dull game. It was extremely boring. Um, I mean, Eastley didn't have a shot on target, so Willie Walgren didn't really have anything to do. To Horst and Piggott didn't play well up front. Um, it was just a really boring game. I think the point out is that Eastley had a red card just before half time. Gavin Hoyt got a, um, a straight red card. Uh, so, you know, maybe could have won considering we were against 10 men for half the game. Is it Gavin Hoyt that used to play for Arsenal, or is that Justin Hoyt? No, that is Gavin Hoyt, and he's now in the National League. Wow, that's... He's still only 27 as well. He must have been very young when he played at Arsenal. But yeah, it was a nil-nil draw. It was boring. Now, the third and final game I played off-screen, I do have to confess, I did have to play it twice. Uh, I played it the first time. Uh, it's an away game against uh, Macclesfield Town. Uh, I won 2-1, uh, but unfortunately, just after that, and before I got a chance to save it, uh, the game did crash. I had my first crash dump. So uh, we do have... I did have to play that a second time. In a way, I'm glad I did. Because what I saw was absolute craziness. So against Macclesfield, at half time, we were 4-0 up. And it ended 4-3. So it's just insane. Danny Whitehead got a second half hat trick. And we managed to hold on. But the second half was just absolutely ridiculous. So we did retain the away win before the crash. Just a few more goals happened, that's all. Uh, Alex Winter scored the first goal on 15 minutes. I say he scored. The defender cleared it and it bounced off him. So I don't think he knew anything about it. Uh, then uh, three minutes later, to Horst scored to make it 2-0. And Winter got a second, actually, on 32 minutes. A tap-in from probably about two yards out. So, yeah, two goals for Winter. I don't, well, the first one, I don't think he knew anything about the second one. He could have put it anywhere else, really. Like, literally, there's no way he could have missed it. Uh, Delano Samuel scored our fourth goal just before half time, and half time going in 4 0 up. There's no way you can mess that up, could you? But this is me. So uh, we almost did. Bankersfield came out in the second half. I don't know what the manager said to them, but D Danny Whitehead listened. And Danny Whitehead scored a hat-trick, 54 minutes, 63 minutes, and 79 minutes to uh, make the score 4-3. We did hold on. We did win 4-3 on away wins. Good. But, yeah, just I don't know what happens. 
So it's looking a bit better. Um, you know, three unbeaten is not too bad. Gates heads next. We've got Barrow, Bromley, and I don't know if it's Geasley or Geisley. Like, I should really know how to say this. I'm I'm English. Like, I should know, but I never know. Is it know if it's Geisley or Geasley? And then we have got uh, next episode's game will be the FA Cup game. We won't find out who that is against though uh, until between the Barrow and Bromley games. So it'll be a nice surprise for you when we do end up playing it. I'm hoping for, you know, a decent opposition and then, well, hopefully when we get to the first round proper, we'll get a football league team and hopefully bring in some money. We're in eighth place at the moment, which is where we're predicted to finish. We're just behind Macclesfield and goal difference. So, you know, those three goals conceded could have sent us above them, but never mind. Uh, if we win this, we could end up, we could go as high as third if other results go our way, which would be nice. The team's in really good condition and they've had a little bit of a rest, so uh, they're looking good. And they're playing well, the defending's a bit iffy, but that's not too bad. I'm going to take off Finney for this game, and I'm going to go with uh, Mag... I'm just going to call him Magnus, because I don't know how you say his name. In fact, I'm just, I'm just going to change him to Magnus. That just makes it much easier for me and for you. So we'll just change him to Magnus. Now he's a British wrestler who used to be on the uh, Revived Gladiators. I'm going to go Joe Anderson at left back as well, just... Like change things up a little bit. I think apart from that though, midfield's good. I'm happy with the midfield. Uh, Samuel can to horse to decent. Piggott's on the bench. He's not happy, but you know, 6.7 over five games. It's not really good enough. Gateshead, I no idea what sort of players they've got. I know very little about this league. Well, not a great reaction to the team talk. I said it's over to you, but after the individual talks, it's a bit better. So let's go. Um, there you can see Gallagher Stadium in its in all its glory. And off we go with kickoff. So hopefully this would be a well, let's try not to lose. You know, on camera, you've only seen me lose so far. So let's see if we can change that. Here is Joe Anderson and now Harvey Willard with a ball up to Johan to Horst, who's a little bit isolated at the moment, but he finds a ball and it's headed clear. Now Jai Reason to Zavon Hines. And Hines with a cross, and O'Connor deals with that easily. Stuart Lewis to uh, Anderson, and here's Harvey Willard, the left midfielder. Can he put a cross in there? It goes back to Reason, and now Lewis and Hines. Passing the ball well here, but we're not getting it into the 18-yard box. Now we have, and Samuel with a header, and that's just over the goal. Early chance there for Maidstone, seven minutes, and that's the first chance of the game. We have got a bit more of the ball. I feel like we should be winning this. I think we're favourites. So I'm just going to ask them to control the game. Uh, we're going to stay on flexible though. Uh, I'm just going to ask the guys to try and work the ball into the box instead. Of, you know, going for like crosses and that. Just try and work it in. 25 minutes. We've got our highlight here. It's a free kick for Gateshead. Cox with the header forward. Here's Lewis. And he's, uh, fa well, doesn't find Samuel. O'Connor with the header away. Here's Willard. And that's dealt with by Fifield. And now Hunter. And here's Johnson. And Stuart Lewis with a great tackle there. And a long ball. So Horst has got a lot of work to do to get, to get this. But goalkeeper Montgomery comes out. Is that going to go in? No, it's not. So Horst gets it. But decides to go for goal instead of trying to walk it in. Seven fouls committed. Let's take it. Well, we're, I think we were on get stuck in. That's going to be taken off now. But 33 minutes. Um... We've had the chance so far, but other than that, it's been a pretty dull game. I'm going to close, close the guys down a little bit more. Just try and keep hold of the ball as well. We're doing that. If we can retain possession, hopefully we'll create some more chances. But so far, the yeah, ratings aren't great. Apart from Zavon Hines. And half time, it's goalless and it's been pretty dull. I'm going to say that we ain't doing badly because, you know, we're not. The assistant's got a little bit to add as well. Um, I'm just going to leave it on standards. Uh, I'm going to go to a little bit of a more fluid shape. I'm going to take off the stick to positions. I'm just going to go for a little bit of a wider play. Let's start the second half and hopefully we can find ourselves a goal here. Now, at the moment we're not losing, but well, we're not going to win if we don't score a goal, are we? Bit of a rare bad game for reason. Usually he's probably one of the best players on the pitch, but today he's looking uninterested. So... Um, as you can see, Lee Wargan is in as well. After the defeat to uh, Hartlepool, I have dropped Rich Dell. Lee Wargan's back in. We dropped down to ninth, and we're on the hour here. And there's not been a lot of chances created here. We had one decent chance, but other than that, 
it's been pretty poor. Sam York's going to come off. Joe Piggott's going to come on. Now is the time to prove to me that you um, can play. Going to push the wingers forward a little bit as well. Uh, going to make Reason a support ball winner. 20 minutes left here. What a boring game this has been. Like, I'm good that it's going quickly because I'm going to bed in a minute. But this has been a really dull game. Um, right. Well, what other changes can we make? Uh, Willard can come off. Actually, no. Reason's going to come off. Uh, we're going to bring on Muldoon. Uh, and we're going to make our third change as well. Why not? Um, yeah, let's put Ray on for Willard. There we go. And actually, I'm going to go attack. No, I'm not going to go attacking. Oh, we've got a highlight here, though. 79 minutes coming up. This could be a chance for either side here. Because there hasn't been a lot all game, really. It's been extremely boring. Batty with the ball to York. And here's Johnson. Can we get the ball off them here? I don't like the fact that they're on the way forward. And that's a good long ball. And to horse has got it. Now, can he set Joe Piggott free? Not really, but we do still have the ball. Here's Muldoon. Lewis to Piggott. Here's Tommy Rates. And now the cross has got to be good. Is it good? It's headed away by Vassell. Now O'Donnell with the ball forward. And Johnson has got past the defence. And is he going to score? No, he's not. He's skied it. Well, that's probably um, Gateshead's best chance of the game. It's the eye of their only chance, really. I don't think I've seen him have a shot apart from that. I'm really debating going and attacking. Like, I might have to do it. Structured. And let's just try and pump it in. You know, let's go for it. Now we're at home. We really should be winning this game. We're not. It's a pain. But, you know, injury time. What a boring game this has been. And I do apologise. It's not my fault. But I didn't really pick a very good game to do. I didn't get as far as I would have liked. So, never mind. Uh, but there is still time for maybe one goal. There's still two minutes left of injury time. And Tommy Rake's got the ball here. A good ball forward by the goalkeeper. And the cross. And here's Joe Piggott. And it's gone in. I mean, the goalkeeper made no effort to save it, but a 90-second minute goal looks like we're going to get our win, our first win on camera. That's good. It was Lee Worgan with the goal kick up to Tommy Wright, and he controlled it extremely well. And then the cross was good, and then Joe Pickett with a finish. It took a deflection off um, one of the Gateshead players as well, but the keeper made no attempt to save it. And there is still a minute of injury time, so hopefully we can get the ball off them and... Um, and just keep possession. Although Johnson's forwards here. If they get this late on. Oh you've got to be kidding me. Luke Hannant has just scored. Literally like a minute after we did. Less than a minute. <laughs> Two injury time goals. I can't... We love conceding injury time goals. That's where like the, the uh, Maidenhead game. We conceded two right at the end. And now there's 94 minutes played. And they've got a corner. If they win this I'm going to be furious. And it is full time. It's ended 1 1. We've avoided defeat. But <laughs> look at that. 90 plus 2 and 90 plus 3. I mean, apart from injury time, that was a boring game. Um, do we want to sympathise? Yeah, I'm going to say unlucky. I don't want to dampen their spirits too much. But well, unless you count injury time, that was an extremely boring game. But two injury time goals. Uh, we get a point. I mean, Gates are the 18th now. That's probably not good. We probably could have. We should have won that, but two goals in injury, in injury time. We had the possession. We had more shots on target than them. A bit unfortunate. Maybe it should have. Well, I think, yeah. We absolutely should have won. 12 shots to eight. Um, lots of fouls. Not many yellow cards, though. Just the one yellow card. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit annoyed that we didn't win that. Uh, but anyway, as I said, uh, next game is going to be the FA Cup fourth qualifier so if we can win that we'll be into the first round proper Barrow, Bromley and Geisley off screen I'm going to alternate between Geisley and Geisley I think but yeah Barrow, Bromley and Geisley off screen then that uh, and then I don't know how far we'll get after that uh, there won't be a video well that would be Sunday's video the FA Cup and then hopefully for Tuesday we can get to around December time maybe go for around Tranmere so that would be an ideal place for rainfall and then after that We'll see how we do. Dover's coming up actually. So I think after Tranmere, we'll probably go into the Dover games because they're big. Uh, I did actually get told that they're close together to um, save travel costs for fans. So the local rivals are played like in close proximity to each other, Boxing Day and New Year's Day. So that is the fans aren't forking out too much money on the holidays to go to the Derby games, which is nice. I didn't know that. And that's quite a nice thing to do. So well done, Football League or National League. 
But that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. Leave comments. If you want to see videos as on my next and up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. Bit of a boring game to bring you today. I'm sorry about that. You know, I didn't really pick the best game, but I only played as far as I could. Um, you know, and, you know, this go without tomorrow. So I needed to put it out and needed to get it done. But um, yeah, hopefully you still enjoy still enjoyed it. Next time, uh, we'll start our FA Cup campaign. Hopefully we can go on a a little run of two or three games maybe more i um, think the furthest they've got is the second round so if we can better that that would be brilliant a third round tie could get us a premier league team so we'll see but for now that's going to be it thank you for watching i'll see you soon goodbye